Hi folks, what's going on? Welcome back. I uh, feel like it's been a while. It's definitely been a while since we got into KH3. It's been about a week. Uh, we took the Thursday off. I was at an amusement park going on roller coasters and stuff. Um, we did play Sonic Adventure on Saturday. That was a stream that happened on Saturday. But today we're going back to the Platinum. Um, we beat the base game last time, so we got uh, the bulk of the trophies. I think I believe we have six left. Um, before we get into that, we do have some trivia by Just James. This is miscellaneous Cage 1 Keyblades. Basically, everything that didn't fit into the other trivias that James did, um, where it was like, okay, these are about Keyblades from, uh, you know, uh, Olympus or from Pinocchio World, etc. So um, I've been told from the description, and Buffoon nailed it in the guess. It's about Jungle King, Lady Luck, and Spellbinder. Three <laughs> specific Keyblades we'll be answering questions about here today. Um, so we'll see what that's all about. I'll get the code up here, and you can plug that in. Let me, uh, I'll pin that for you. Oh, Masorbit, thank you for the 13 months, the funniest months. Appreciate that a ton. Thank you for saying that as well. And uh, Dizzy Daisy for the 17 months as we were getting started. Thank you so much, Dizzy. Um, yeah, check out that code if you want to play, if you're new. Punch that code in at play.blookit.com. You can play along at home. No account needed. It's fun. It's fancy. It's free. Um, yes, as of this Keyblade, uh, as James is saying here, every, or sorry, as of this trivia, every uh, Keyblade from KH1 will have been covered in a in a quiz, so we're completing the set, so to speak. Um, there will, of course, be predictions for this stream, as we've been doing for the uh, KH3 trophy streams, um, as well as Sonic Adventure 2. We like to bet on what rank I'll get after I beat a level, and I've been getting a lot of E ranks. Um, I did miraculously get an A rank on a Rouge level after failing for, I think, probably 45 to 50 minutes straight, maybe even longer. It felt like an eternity. Um, if you're interested in seeing my basically first experience with Sonic Adventure 2, um, that's on the second channel. You can see that uh, plot along as I raise Chaos poorly and do a bad job at finding emeralds. G Meister, thank you so much for the eight months. Thank you, G. G is one of the Chows in said Sonic Adventure 2 playthrough. Daisy Sorbet, two Daisies today with the resub. 26 months from Daisy. Dennis appointment, I mean, that's basically my second job. So uh, if you need any tips on how to uh, lay there and, and go to a different place as uh, you have uh, cavities filled, uh, root canals performed, uh, hit me up. I'll, I'll give you the uh, the disassociation strats. Uh, Barty as well with the 14 months. Thank you so much, Barty. Wow, time is flying. How do you not die? You just uh, you fixate on the painting in front of you, the the tacky, shitty dentist painting, and you just kind of uh, focus on one spot of it, and you go to that spot, and you live in that spot of the painting until it's over. Um, I wish they would just put you out for all of it. For a cleaning, even. You know what? It's an extra $100 to just not be awake for this. Sure. I know it wouldn't be that much. It'd be way more. But could you imagine? I would take them up on that every time. Um, yeah, stare at the Belmont brand surgical light and think about Castlevania. Yeah. If you don't have that at your dentist, tough luck. Think about something else. Um, yeah, my old dentist had a TV. Um, my current dentist has, um, an Alexa that plays music throughout the different, um, I guess you would call them rooms, they're not like offices, um, you know, the different areas with chairs where people are worked on, um, and last time I went, um, someone, the, the hygienist, the assistant asked me, like, what, uh, what kind of music would you, like, prefer to hear? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Uh, I guess like I'm into like 90s stuff, like alt 90s uh, music. And uh, she gave it a shot, but the Alexa was not cooperating. I ended up listening to country rock uh, for my filling. Um, that was not filling for the soul, I gotta say. That was, uh, that emptied the soul. That kills the man. Yeah, country rock. Um, so I don't even know. I couldn't name a single artist or song. Um, like way to, way to really make that a worse experience for me you know like it's like what's the opposite of a cherry on top it's like i don't know a turd <laughs> a turd on a, on a sunday that's kind of what it felt like. It's like i'm already here getting a filling but then you're gonna 
You're gonna put a turd on the on the filling Sunday? That's how it felt. It felt like a personal slight. Um, did you know that today is Winnie's birthday? <laughs> Happy is hundred and second. Question? Really? Winnie's that old? I knew I knew she was old. Winnie the Pooh we're talking, of course. Famous Women's History Month representative. Girl power also, rules. Shout out to Gavaco. Two shots. A durian, a yeah. <laughs> a durian on top of my Sunday. Sub Blossom is secretly in a meeting. Shush. Um, you thought this was a rabbit? Um, you know what we need to do is go back to the uh, sound drop uh, bracket and rectify the wrongs. Because the fact that we don't have it's fucking Winnie the Pooh on the sound drop uh, buttons, that's garbage. I don't know what you all were thinking when you didn't vote that through. Like, it's your fault, so. Um, see, Barty, that is a blessing. That's not something I got to experience, so it's, it sucks to see people live your dreams. Um, what else? If I could date any Keyblade, which one would I choose? Um, if I could date any Keyblade, which one would I choose? Sweet memories. Doesn't that sound nice? Because you would you'd have a nice time with each other. Lady luck. Yeah, increase my luck. Three wishes if I get three wishes. Um, what if I want to go for like something a bit like a bit more sultry, you know? Something a bit more one night standish. I guess we're saying date, but Rumbling Rose if they had a really good personality. No, no. If Rumbling Rose was as rich as the Beast, I would make that Keyblade my sugar Keyblade. Um, but no, I would not have any genuine feelings. I would never allow it. Um, so, you know, Sweet Memories gets freaky with the honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess uh, I don't know. Maybe not then. I'm not into the. That's uh, that's too much. <laughs> that's that's a mess. Um, you're very protective. <laughs> These are the questions that we get now and what are we in year three of the stream? Uh, what keyblade would I date? <laughs> what does this mean for Crabclaw? I think what that means for Crabclaw is that if Crabclaw gets a call from its doctor about what Crabclaw is dealing with, I need to know about it the second phone call after that. So, um, are we ready to do uh, trivia? <laughs> let me uh, let me punch that into my, my phone here. Uh, once again, the topic is some KH1 Keyblades we've not yet covered in a book it. That'll be Jungle King, Lady Luck, and Spellbinder. 9337322. Um, so I'll be, uh... I'll be Merlin Pat because of Spellbinder. That's where you get that. Although, that's probably a spoiler. I guess we'll see. Um, let's see... So who's the asshole on my list today? Oh, I feel bad because I like Briny. <laughs> Briny took my giraffe. That's okay. I'll allow it. I'll absolutely allow it because it's Briny. Mmm. Shout out to the public poop poll. You gotta you really gotta look and see who the person is before you preemptively call them an asshole. <laughs> um Oh, now it says enter a nickname, so I feel like I've been booted. Um I'm gonna try this again. Actually, I'm gonna just dispel with that entirely. Make like Yuna, cast dispel, and I'm going to play on my desktop instead because God knows it's gonna give me some some shit about trying to enter my name on my phone again. So. Um, yeah, I'll be uh, instead of Merlin Pat, I'll be Tarzan Pat. And I'm gonna be this uh, snowy owl. Okay, dispel, uh, you know, that one over there. Yo, by the way, I heard rumors of like an FF10 remake. Um, I don't know if there's anything that is like truly substantiating that, but oh man, would I lose my fucking shit. It said 2026 though, to align with the 25th anniversary. Um, goddamn, would that be a day one? Okay, it is. Just James, miscellaneous, KH1, Keyblade, trivia. Let me get rid of the title there. Here, wait, wait for it. Wait, <laughs> here we go.
Um, what is Lady Luck's keychain? A heart, a card, a bottle, or the Cheshire Cat's head? Um, right, that's what I thought it was for, but like, are you sure they're still gonna be making years after next year? Because that seems fake. That seems made up. Um, no, listen, Mango, you're not an asshole in my book. Um, that's right, it's a card. Um, it is a card, it's like, uh, I want to say it's an ace of hearts, or something of hearts, at least. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna ask the specific suit, maybe that happens later, maybe I just spoiled. Maybe that's the next question. Number two. What is Jungle King's keychain? A leaf, a gorilla, a butterfly, or a bone? Ba -ba -da -ba. Tarzan's dad's femur, that's right. Correct. If you said bone, you're actually right. It is Tarzan's dad's femur on the Jungle King keychain. Um, left over by Sabor in the treehouse. Only in the final mix version, right next to the blood spatter. A real thing that people believe that I said. Okay, yeah, butterfly, just like from the keyhole. Number three. What is Spellbinder's keychain? Merlin's hat, a book, Excalibur, or an owl? I do know this. Once we get into the Play Arts Kai and the Final Fantasy Record Keeper questions, then I'll lose my mojo. And my Mojo Dojo, uh, Mojo Dojo Casa stream. But yes, it's a book. Um... I'm not sure what book it's supposed to be, just any old book, I think. Number four. Um, how do you obtain Lady Luck in Kingdom Hearts 1? A chest in the Bazaar Room? You lock Wonderland, uh, sorry, Wonderland's keyhole. Defeat the Queen of Hearts Super Boss or uh, White Trinity in the Lotus Forest. <coughs> the driver's manual. Like how to drive in Cage 2. The sword doesn't have a driver's license, so. Um, I guess I do, don't I, Baku? I do not have a headboard still. Uh, that's right. One of the uh, weird keyblades in KH1 in that it's it's super referential to the world, but you don't get it. Uh, it's not a mandatory um, acquisition. You have to go out of your way to do the Trinity. So you end up getting it after your first stint in Hall of Ashen, usually. Um, how do you obtain a Jungle King in Kingdom Hearts 1? White Trinity in the Cavern of Hearts. Sorry, I spoiled that earlier. Uh, complete every course of the Jungle Slider minigame, lock the Jungle's Keyhole, or defeat the Clayton's Remnant Super Boss. <laughs> you thought I was dead, Miss Porter? I'm not. Here I am, on the flying stealth sneak. It's a great question, Oma Sober. I've been asking the same goddamn thing for 25 years. 26, I forgot how old I was. Fuck! Um, yeah, lock the Jungle's Keyhole. Tarzan gives it to you in the, uh, in the tent before you leave. Let's check in. Yeah, Data, Data Clayton is, he's a wild one. Buffoon, me, Dendorado, the keyiest owls, and the Z, number six. What's up, Nachos? Don't say that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what room does Tarzan, uh, give Zora Jungle King? The tent, the camp, the treehouse, or the cavern of hearts? My bad. My big old bad on that. Nachos, okay, listen. I'm equal to Cage 2 Leon in age. And Cage 3 Leon is older than me. At least in Remind. Yeah, because he's only in Remind, so... I'm gonna stop speaking. Uh, yeah, it's in the tents. Uh, some of you still just didn't fucking listen to me, so whatever, I guess. Like, I'll just talk into the fucking void. Sure. Cool. I'm actually mad. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's the tents. <laughs> Alright, number seven. Let's see. Um, how do you obtain Spellbind during KH1? Defeat the Fairy Godmother Super Boss, speak to Merlin after obtaining all seven Spell Arts items, lock the 100 Acre Woods Keyhole, or speak to Merlin after learning all seven Tier 1 spells. Don't say that. Come on. Don't say it. Yes, you uh, get every... So Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, Cure, Arrow, Gravity, and Stop. Then you talk to him, you get that. Um, you get a... The Dream Shield, I think, for doing all the arts items. You don't get a Keyblade in KH1 for the um, the 100 Acre Wood. And then the Fairy Godmother Super Boss does not give any prizes. Um, it actually shuts off your game. And you, you just don't save your progress. It's brutal. Number eight. It just crashes the console. 
Oh, yeah, well, I would assume. Uh, which one does not appear as a card in Melody of Memory? Lady Luck, Jungle King, or Spellbinder? It's Superfly. What's going on? Well... Yeah, but 7 is like the KH number, you know, so I get it. It's gotta be Jungle King, right? Yeah. There's not gonna be a deep jungle representation beyond the the blurry boards of the treehouse in the Kyrie memory dive. That's... You can't have that. Even though the Jungle King being there, I don't think is super evocative of Tarzan when you separate it from the source material. Um, you just can't have it. It's just not allowed. It's such a shame because, like, even the songs, like, uh, the field team and having a wild time, it'd be fun to play those in Melmem. But it's not like that's owned by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Just put them in somewhere. I guess you just can't reference that it ever happened. Number nine. Um, what is Lady Luck's name in the Japanese version? Last Resort, Heart of Cards, Trump Card, or Lady Fortuna? Fortuna? That's a lot of fish. That's a Godzilla reference. The, um... Ferris Bueller? Who's the guy? Matthew Broderick, Godzilla? Uh, yeah, Last Resort. Um, oh wow, it was me and some, some other person. Um, let's see. It's me, and it's Z! Look at that. Me and Z. It's like a 1980s ABC sitcom of some kind. Me and Z. Number 10. Tear my key played two pieces. Um, what is Jungle King's name in the Japanese version? Native work, one family, king of jungle, or born... Sorry, bone to be wild. Um, I do know this. Bone to be wild would be amazing, but it is native work. Uh, there you go. Let's check in here. <clears throat> it's me, it's Buffoon, it's Z, it's Denderado, it's Lady Luck. Wow, what a coincidence. Number 11. What is Spellbinder's name in the Japanese version? Examination, Accolade, Dictation, or Elderness? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good one. Sadly, I am only an eel. Wiglet kind of is an eel of the ground, wouldn't you say? <clears throat> yes, examination. Um, go figure. I don't, I don't know why, but that's what it is. Okay, number 12. In a cage one final mix, Lady Luck's strength stat was decreased or increased. It's a garden eel. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, I guess that's, yeah, but wiglets are more fun than worms, you know? Sorry to Larkseen. Nice, okay. I think it's just like one point lower in uh, final mix. Number 13. Uh, which one does it not appear in Recoded? Lady Luck, Spellbinder, or Jungle King? Using uh, context clues from previous discussions here. <coughs> Buffoon, no! Buffoon! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, that That's bait? Um, Jungle Key is part of your avatar. Listen, if, if Jungle if Jungle King's in there in any capacity and Spellbinder isn't, then that's that's fair game. Um, wow. Let me, uh, I got, can somebody give me a, I thought I don't believe you, but I would love a picture of this because that is bonkers bananas to me um, that they reference Jungle King and Recoded. Because that'd be, what, a full eight years after KH1 and they managed what to sneak it in there? What is this question? That is a great question, Ribbonfly. Um... Wow, okay. You learn something new every day. Here we thought. Here we thought there was another easy layup. Um, and I was like, let's use context clues. But uh, sometimes they lie to you, those clues. So, okay. Wow. Number 14. Um, oh, fuck me, I think. <laughs> I think fuck me. Which version of Lady Luck from Key appears in KH1? The base form of the first, second, or third upgrade. <coughs> so you can upgrade your keyblades in the uh, key, yeah. 
I was dumb. Because I, I saw second, I was like, alright, I'm pretty sure the one beneath this is very bland. And then the next one in my brain, the second one, is this. But that was incorrect. Now I'm flopping. 15. Oh, balls. Uh, damn it, I have no idea. What is Jungle King's strength stat? 6, 4, 3, or 5? It's flop. Oh yeah, the card is uh, definitely different. Damn it. Ugh. I said four, like many of you. Alright, it's five. Let's check in at 15. It's Buffoon, Z, Me, Lady Luck, and Stupid Computer. I'm 16. Reputation era. <laughs> Um, how much MP does Lady Luck grant in case one? Plus two, zero, plus one, or plus three? And you know this. This ends up being like my late game Keyblade in uh, a level one run. Yep. Plus two MP from Lady Luck. Your best MP option outside of, uh, Ultima and Diamond Dust, which are obviously more difficult to get your hands on in the level one. <coughs> 17. Um, how much MP does Spellbinder grant in cage one? Plus one, plus three, minus one, or plus two? Banana net. I'm less confident on this one. good. Yeah, also plus two. Um, the only reason to switch over to Lady Luck is because it has more strength, I think. Um, even though strength is pretty negligible in a level one. But I think I use this in my level one runs when I do that. Number 18. <clears throat> oh, um... I really don't know. Uh, which world contains the Spellbinder card in Chain of Memories? Hundred Acre Wood, Traverse Town, Hollow Bastion, or Agrabah? Yeah, I, uh, I always forget. Damn. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like this was told to me several trivias ago. Um, because Hundred Acre Wood is, like, right next to where you get Spellbinder, even though it is in Traverse Town, where you would actually get it in one... <clears throat> 19. Uh, what is the naming theme for Lady Luck's upgrades in Recoded? Uh, card ranks, card suits, letters spelling out luck, or numbers? I do know this. <coughs> yep, just boring old numbers. Um, that's it. Way to go. Number 20. So lame! <laughs> Might as well just guess. Which of these is not one of Lady Luck's clock abilities in Recoded? Attach Thunder, Attach Slow, Arrow, or Fire? I don't even know what these do, what they mean. Wow. A bunch of you actually knew it? That's suspicious. I said arrow. All right, final stretch. Let's see. <clears throat> it's Buffoon, it's Z, it's me, it's Lady Luck, it's Mistletoon. 21. Oh, balls. Which one appears in a Kingdom Hearts crossover event with the uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper? Lady Luck, Spellbinder, or Jungle King? I knew it. I knew it was coming. The Great Equalizer. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba. Ah! Jungle King? God damn it. How? How? How is that possible? How does this happen? Jesus Christ. Okay. Has anyone actually played... Do you? Does one even play Final Fantasy Record Keeper? Downloaded it? Are we sure this exists? Is this not a fanfiction that Just James wrote? Like, I've never seen it anywhere besides this quiz. So... You used to? Okay. Can I get a screenshot of someone, like, with, like, on a, on a... What was it on? Your phone? <laughs> Is that where it was? 
Whatever. Uh, congrats to these three people. Owl Sharp and Space Hop. 22. <laughs> oh no! In Final Fantasy Record Keeper, equipping Sora with Jungle King grants him access to which Soul Break? Uh, my soul feels broken. Valor Form, Strike Rate, and Olympus Stone, or Ragnarok? <coughs> or you say. Mm -bom -bom. Ooh, I got it. It just seemed right to me, in my bones. In my, my uh, bones to be wild, the fake Keyblade name from earlier. That's pretty nifty, though. It's cool to see it outside of just the KH1 render. Okay. Number 23. Oh, no. Which quest in Uni Cross must you complete to obtain Lady Luck? 89, 15, 22, 24. Um. I know I did have this when I did play Uni Cross. Um. Nice, nice. Um, I was basically between anything but 89. I don't know if I made it to 89 when I played, so... I was like, I know I made it further than 15. So I was kind of, like, between the 20s, and I landed on that one. Okay, 24. Great, great, uh, comment, G-Meister. Because <laughs> we can't. It's hardly even a game at this point. Uh, what element is Spellbinder associated with in Chain of Memories? Thunder, Blizzard, Wind, or Fire? I think I remember this. <clears throat> yeah, thunder. Because I feel like I remember, as a kid, attacking yellow operas or some other, maybe like a screwdriver, and like healing it. And I was like, what the fuck? And it's because I had uh, the Spellbinder what card in my deck. What is this question? So, not good. What is the status looking base form Keyblade and Union Cross? I need to see all of them, but they all look really pathetic and flaccid, so... It's probably a game of inches. 25, last question. Uh, how many enemies must you slay with Lady Luck to obtain its final upgrade in Recoded? 150, 180, 190, or 160? Yeah, they're all ugly, and that's the point, right? It's not like Rumbling Rose, where it wasn't the point to be ugly. So I'll let it pass. What's up, both Keeper? Limp all floppy keyblades. Disgusting. 160 enemies to get Lady Luck uh, upgraded all the way. All right, let's see our leaderboard in third place. It's me, and second, it's Key Forger Z, and in first, it's Buffoon. Congratulations, Buffoon, and in fourth place, it's Lady Luck. How fitting. And in fifth, it's Stupid Computer. Top ten, Mistletoon in sixth, the keyest owls in seventh, Syllablossom X, Syllablossom Key in eighth, Dendorado in ninth, and Sora King also in ninth, and then Space Hop in tenth. There you go. Just James, thank you so much. I want to say thank you to James for rounding out all the KH1 Keyblades in a trivia form. Always appreciate these. Um, let's see. Uh, percentage. 55. 43. I was way too high. Okay. Let's hit the hurdle. Close out the look it over here. I'll let you know what's coming up, actually. Next up. On Thursday, we have uh, Miss Emily's debut Look it. This is Cage 3 Bistro Trivia by Miss Emily. Then we have Gavaka on Saturday. Three Cage Lies and One Truth. That'll be at four before Sonic Adventure 2. Cage Voice Actor Trivia Part 5 by Mango a week from today. And Toy Box Trivia by Den Dorado the Thursday after next. So that is the uh, lineup. All right. Let's hear our song. <laughs> Uh, precious stars in the sky. Cage one gummy music. There you go. All right, we're moving over to cage three. Bye, Bond people. <laughs> 